Kathy Myers, Senior Peer for the Desert Region Behavioral Health, and we're here today to take a tour of the Riverwalk. Uh, the Behavioral Health Desert Board Advisory Board has partnered with the Riverwalk here in Rancho, Rancho Mirage, California to provide an art gallery where uh, members throughout the community, throughout our clinics, are able to create art uh, of any type, which would be furniture, jewelry, uh, canvas, um, what have you. And they're able to sell the art. Uh, Dr. Janice Quinn, who is the chair of the Desert Board, uh, is in charge of this um, gallery and you can submit art to her and she uh, gives a story of why each piece of art is sold to each person but it really allows uh, the community to come together break the stigma with mental health um, anybody that's living successfully with mental health is able to come here express themselves um, and give back we have people from all over the world that travel to the desert. They pick up art as a piece of um, a souvenir to take home. We had a gentleman that saw a beautiful piece of art painted by one of our members in our clinic that was a, a woman. And he purchased it because it reminded him of his wife that had just passed uh, two weeks prior. So there's many stories that go with the art that is purchased throughout this gallery. and. It was started last year and we are hoping to continue it throughout the year here at the river. So please come down, enjoy the art, have a little lunch, dinner, and our art changes weekly um, as we get new pieces. So thank you to Dr. Janice Quinn for providing such a wonderful show. Hi there, I'm Kelly Grotsky. We're for Riverside University Health System Behavioral Health as the Desert Region Children's and Transitional Age Youth Manager. And I am excited to be here to share in the great artwork that has been created by a lot of our consumers and members of the public. Um, we're so excited and grateful to the Desert Region Behavioral Health Board, specifically Dr. Janice Quinn, who has um, worked tirelessly to get the art up and around this beautiful location. Uh, this started because last year, unfortunately, due to the COVID pandemic, we were unable to host our annual art show. And the art show has been in existence for uh, going on about 20 years. It started in a little room in the Indio Mental Health Clinic and has grown and has, has expanded. Our uh, last art show was held at the Coachella Valley Rescue Mission. And we've also done art shows at such locations as the um, oh gosh, <laughs> where, where have we been? We've been like everywhere it feels like. The Elks Club, we've been at the Taj Mahal at the fairgrounds. Um, we've had art shows, uh, Just they, they've just grown exponentially. And so the goal of the, the board was always to take this outside of the clinic walls and to bring it out to the public and make art really visible and give our consumers something to feel really proud about, about the art that they're doing. Um, with COVID, as I mentioned, with COVID pandemic, it stopped us from be able, being able to do the art show, but Janice became very creative and found a different way to display art through this beautiful exhibition that we have here at the river in Rancho Mirage. So if you're in the area and want to stop by the desert and see all the beautiful art, come and enjoy and uh, grab, you know, uh, some, some dinner or lunch at P.F. Chang's or the Cheesecake Factory or the Art House or one of those lovely locations here. And uh, we look forward to having you enjoy the art. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Javier Sanchez, Senior Peer with Tay Desert Flow. Um, our center has gotten involved with the Art Walk by submitting some artwork for folks to be able to see and, and kind of take a, a view of mental health through the, the artist lens and be able to um, focus on how we can destigmatize mental health and provide support to the community. Um, the art is displayed all throughout the river and we encourage the community to come check it out. Thank you. I just want to say one thing and that is, um, you know the river is such a natural setting for this here because it's so artistic in the first place with the sculptures, P.F. Chang's and the, the flamingos and the water. And so you can come down here and just feel like you're with the art crowd. And the art is amazing, it's very vast. I would say this would be a great place to get some of your daily steps in and just really surround yourself with the beauty 
not only of nature, but of what people can create.